Hi, this is Jesse from Grassroots Science, and today I'm going to show you how to put together a bill acceptor. So the parts you'll need are a bill acceptor with wires. On this side we have the flash memory port. We're not going to be using that today diagnostic push button. This is used to program the machine. This is the model number and the type of power it uses, 12 volts DC. So this is the microcontroller we're gonna to use to hook up the laptop to the bill acceptor. It needs five volts, so you can plug in a USB cable. A 12 volt battery um, power supply. So this one has a breakout on it. Uh, two black test clips. One red test clip, uh, ground wire, so that we can join the ground of the Arduino to the 12 volt power supply and a laptop or a computer. Um, let's get started. The wiring harness gets plugged into the bill acceptor. The four data lines get connected to the Arduino. Check out the wiring diagram link below. Pin 10, the green wire, is for data transmission from the acceptor. Pin 9, white and blue, is the send line. Pin 8, orange, is interrupt. And pin 7, purple, is enable. The ground of the Arduino and the bill acceptor must be connected. I'm connecting the bill acceptor to the power source and to the Arduino. I'm connecting the red test clip to the power supply and the other end of the test clip to the bill acceptor. Here I'm taking the black test clip and I'm connecting it to the black wire coming from the power supply and that's being connected to the bill acceptor ground. A USB cable is being used to connect the Arduino to the laptop. The Arduino can be connected to a different power source using the DC jack. This is a 12 volt battery pack, but you can also use a 12 volt adapter or a bench power supply. So this is the 12 volt power supply. It goes through this cable uh, into this red wire. The red wire goes to the bill acceptor, which powers it. And then it comes out through this black wire and then it returns back to this, it goes back through the cable and back to the power supply. And we also need to power the Arduino here. So that comes from the USB port, goes into this connector, and ground from the Arduino needs to be connected to the ground on the bill acceptor. Um, we have these data wires, and they get connected directly to the bill acceptor. The bill acceptor is reprogrammable using these cards. To reprogram, you'll need a new card. There's some of the bill acceptor manual, and that manual is also in PDF form online. Make sure that the card is the correct size when printed. It should be the same size as an American dollar bill. Okay, so we're going to fill out a card. We'll be using serial mode, so first, let's fill pulse slash serial. Second, fill pulses per dollar, none. Pulse mode can take 100 milliseconds per dollar. Third, let's set the green light to flashing. Fourth, the bills that we're going to accept are 1, 5, and 10. Fifth, we're going to set the security level to low, but you may want to set this to high so that your bill acceptor doesn't accept any counterfeit bills. Finally, we're going to set the bill direction to all four ways so that the person putting the bill in doesn't have to flip their bill over. To program the bill acceptor, 
hold down the diagnostic push button until the bill acceptor blinks 10 times quickly. Insert the programming card and the bill acceptor will flash 10 times if the programming card was accepted. You can download the Arduino program at the GitHub link below. Okay, so now we're done programming it and we're going to test out 1, 5s, and 10s and it's not going to accept 20 or above. So that was a dollar and we're going to try to put in a five dollar bill. Um, this one we're going to put in upside down. The way that it's programmed, we will, it should, it should accept it. So even though it was upside down, it still went through. And now we're going to try a 10. And you can see these messages up on the screen here. And next we're going to try a 20. And it's supposed to reject the 20 because that's how we programmed it. So I put it in the normal way. I'll try putting it in upside down and see if that allows it to go through. Nope, rejected it. And just because we have 100 here, let's try that out. Uh, and it's supposed to reject that too. And you can see on the screen that it's rejected. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you want to purchase this equipment online, you can get it at, on eBay. Uh, it costs about $300. Um, I recommend buying the bill acceptor new because you can be sure that it has all the new bills programmed into it. If you like this video, you can support our channel on Patreon to fund more videos like this.